Today we are in Disney Springs. They have a lot of new stuff going on and it's kind of been a while since we've been here so we figured it was the perfect time to come out and check everything out. Yeah, so stick around for a lot of food and a little bit of fun. So we kind of took a walk so that we could start closer to those boat loading areas that are going to the riverside yeah. and stuff. Right now, the boats are not running. I want to throw that yeah. out there that the water levels are really low and they're not currently running. So, you know, keep an eye on that. I don't know when they'll be up and running. But as we were walking, we were also noticing, because we're here midday, yeah. that a lot of the restaurants have some really good deals going on for lunch. So, of course, they're always going to be super busy for dinner, not as busy for lunch. And we're noticing that you might be able to save some money if you make a lunch reservation instead. I noticed Frontera Cocina had kids eat free, like yeah. Monday through Thursday during a certain time that's a great there deal. were some like drink specials going on yeah. at like eat, eat. Had the happy hour from yeah three to five so i think that that's a good thing to consider to make a lunch reservation you might be able to save some money but nothing new was going on over there no so we're really. going to keep going so i think we're going to start off in world of disney because there's always something new in world of disney yeah and it's air conditioning yes it's about 90 degrees today yeah it's going to be really hot all week i mean it's may i love it i'm so, fine with it so you know it's summer you know what i mean we're getting up close to 100 these days so dress light and cool yeah if be comfortable <laughs> if you're coming down it's only may but yeah dress light you can always grab yourself a roosevelt like one of these these shirts that i have on <laughs> They are super lightweight, very breathable, and I absolutely love them for the heat. Yeah. And they also have matching sets, so you could do the shorts and the shirt. And True. I have a couple of those as well. Okay. But yeah, well, let's head into World of Disney and check out some merch. Absolutely. The Americana Collection has come out appropriately with Memorial Day coming up and then 4th of July following closely behind that. So this is going to be where you can find all of your red, white, and blue America gear for the parks or for whatever. So we have some shirts over here. So these first ones are gonna be your kid sized shirts and they have two different styles for you to choose from. And then this side we have the women's shirt. You see it's a V-neck shirt there with Mickey and American flag design. And then this is just like your regular T-shirt for the Americana collection. I love Mickey's shorts. It gives me um, Rocky Balboa vibes. I haven't seen these yet, and we are big Toy Story fans, so there's this button down with Pizza Planet on there. You can see the pizza, some burgers, but they have some more really cute stuff, too. There's a hoodie with our favorite little aliens up there, and then the cheesy invasion down below the front of it. You're going to see all three of those aliens hanging out. And then this is another Pizza Planet with, like, an order ticket on there. So, you know, you can see somebody's meal there. It cost them $62 and change. Uh, it's Al's Toy Barn's order. <laughs> and then this one is like a baseball jersey style. So our little aliens are like, ooh, it's pizza. But I really like the back. Freshest in the galaxy. I actually really like this style. So cute. I'm loving the fact that we're seeing tank tops start to come out and you really can't go wrong with your Dynaco top here. I actually really like this. It's a pretty color and pretty design. So we have the new Star Wars collection out, Sands of Tatooine. And I really do love these color schemes on this. With It's kind of like this pink that fades into a, a mauve, I guess you would call it. But let's check out the Spirit jersey back has Star Wars real big and on the bottom you can see some detail there that looks like this like a cityscape and these are the ears so I like these ears again because the color is really good and the bow is like a velvet color and then the ears are leather with like an embroidery stitching on the bottom and then we have the lounge fly bag I'm always a big fan of these bags because they have such cool designs and it's sticking right with the same style design with the cityscape down here the same color schemes the rose gold um, zippers are really nice though but this is a beautiful bag a small world collection has come out maggie's favorite ride these ears are actually really adorable i love the little centerpiece there this reminds me so much more of disneyland because they have such a more epic small world. But the Spirit jersey is really, really cute too. I like it, I like the color. My only qualm with Spirit jerseys is it's getting hot. I don't wanna wear these. 
this time of year, but I really do like this design. It's very pretty. So World of Disney was pretty good. I saw yeah. a lot of new stuff in yeah. there. Um, a lot of stuff has changed since we've like yeah. been in there last, and I like that because it looks fresh and exciting. Yeah. And then um, we are right near Amaretz, so I think we should head inside because right now for the month of May, it is Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage yep. Month. So some of the locations are going to be having some things to celebrate that, Amaretz being one of them. Um, they have a Mushu cake pop. I don't really want to get that, but I would like to show it because I am way more interested in this viral um, croissant cookie thing that cookie they croissant. have yeah. brought here. And I believe that this is an item that like hopefully will be here to stay because I think it's going to be it's a like big hit. all over TikTok. So <laughs> I say we get that and just show the Mushu cupcake. Yeah, but speaking that. of the like things like that that they have monthly celebrations and stuff, they will also have some things at the resorts. So yeah. make sure you keep an eye out for those like sandwich board signs out front of your food court. That's where it will show you if they have something special going on. And it's usually going to be at some of your value and moderates. So if there is something, they will have it presented to you on that sign and telling you what it is right now. I know they do have an entree at the resorts and a dessert. Okay. So, you know, we haven't been over there to try it or see it yet, but they do have something. But let's head into Amaretz and get this croissant thingy. Let's do it. So these are some of the petite cakes they have. This is a Star Wars Stormtrooper petite cake. Chocolate chiffon, vanilla bean mousse, dark chocolate ganache, and cherries. And then they have the strawberry boba petite cake. Uh, this is a vanilla cake soaked in strawberry milk green tea layered with strawberry mousse, strawberry boba pearls, and crushed strawberry biscuit sticks. Oh man. And then the Minnie Mouse Petite Cake, they have this all the time. This is just your classic vanilla cake with chiffon, a vanilla chiffon cake with vanilla mousse and an Italian buttercream. And this is the Mushu Cake Pop. This is a chocolate and red velvet cake bar with Mushu on the front. That's so cute. So well, we decided to yeah. dine in. Yeah, at it's Emirates. nice and cool in yes, here. Very nice air Such conditioning. Such a nice like music Ooh. and vibe. So yeah, we got this cookie dough croissant. Yes. I'm super excited to try it. It looks really nice. It looks really good. Uh, did you see all the other stuff on the yeah. on there? So they had some really nice like those petite cakes. Yeah, that one like tropical thing looked really good too. I didn't was, even see that. Oh yeah, I I was like eyeballing it. All it was right. very pretty. Well, I'm um, gonna pop that in right now. Okay. <laughs> so you guys can take a look at all of the like the, the cakes and stuff that they have. All this stuff, guys, it just looks so, so good. It's a shame I can't eat it all. Look at this rose. Oh my God. All right, so this is what we have. I'm gonna open it up for you so you can see what's inside. It's pretty cool. So this is the croissant and then Right there in the middle is all the cookie dough, and it, it's kind of soft. Oh, it's like that doughy cookie dough. So, oh yeah, Maggie, check that out. So, let's uh, give this thing a taste. I'm excited. It's such a good combo. It is. It's really giving me like some chocolate croissant vibes. Very much and like I a love chocolate, chocolate croissant. croissant. Like, I was worried about like the chocolate and cookie dough overpowering the croissant. And not really getting any taste of the croissant, right. but the mm. croissant like flavor is still pretty prominent. It is, and the cookie dough in there is soft, so it's it not is. like a hard baked cookie. Um, and don't be afraid; it's like that you know that raw cookie dough taste. It's not; it mm -mm. tastes fully cooked, but it's just soft and gooey, like a nice fudgy cookie. I mean, I just have like a huge chunk of chocolate right there, and this is like kind of getting on the end of the croissant. So very delish and like full. Well, I'm just going to finish um, picking all this chocolate out of my teeth. <laughs> I don't mind at all. But yeah, that cookie dough croissant. Yeah, and really I can good. see why it's like a viral thing. Yeah, I mean, it's $8. So, yeah. you know, it's not, nothing in Amaretz is going to be on the lower price side no. because it's, Well, these are handmade. Yes, they take a lot of time gorgeous. to do this pastries but we just shared it between the four of us and like yeah. if you're looking for just like a little bit of a sweet treat it is easily shareable yeah. if you want it more for like a breakfast or something i wouldn't share it yeah i would eat, the, not. Whole thing, eat but, the whole thing you know between the four of us it was just like a nice little nibble and then we're gonna head out and look for some other cool fun stuff yeah. that's new and exciting and it's almost lunchtime, so oh you're getting hungry. i'm getting hungry like gotcha, for real gotcha. hungry so we're gonna find something good
So I found what I was looking for, a good old hot dog. I like never order a <laughs> hot dog. I'm not, I don't but have anything against hot dogs. This is not just any hot dog. You know, BB Wolf's is, like, they have really great hot dogs. They do. Their regular menu. They have menu, sausages, too. Yeah. Their regular menu is, like, really great. But then they always have, like, a sign with some sort of featured hot dog. The one from Mardi Gras. Wasn't it, like, crawfish or something yeah, on it? Yeah, it a craw dog. They've got some cool stuff. That was so really cool. The featured hot dog right now is piquing my interest. So I think we should get it and split it. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> but first, I'm going to show you the regular menu. Yeah. And then I'll show you what we're getting. Yeah. Right, so check out this regular menu, man. This Hawaiian Island dog, three little pigs, which is a Reuben dog, a Hawaiian dog, and Texas chili cheese dog, all like a little sampler. That's cool. I got this New York pastrami Reuben. Uh, here's the craw dog that they were doing for Mardi Gras. You're all beef regular. Texas chili cheese, a bratwurst. Good old Italian sausage. That's what the people from New Jersey like. They like that sausage peppers. And then we got a plant-based bratwurst sausage on a pretzel roll. I love a good pretzel roll. But today we are here for this beauty. This is the Tennessee barbecue dog. It's an all beef hot dog, smoked brisket, a Nashville hot pickle slaw, barbecue sauce, and a sweet cream sauce on a house-made bun. This is why I never get hot dogs, because I don't know how to eat them. I mean, this is not your normal hot dog. Without they usually don't have all this stuff. No, you're going to be a disaster. That's just what it's going to be. But I don't, I don't like, want to be a mess. Here, here's a couple napkins. Okay. Just, just get ready to get into it. All right? Okay. So I'm going to pick up this half. You pick up that half. You go first. Ooh. Oh, man. Let's see if I can get you to look at that. It is like Ooh. gooey. Yeah, so this is gonna be messy, but um, why don't you go first and I'll hold this for you. Well, wow. that was a sloppy hot dog. It was really <laughs> good, but again, this is why like they're not usually, and we always have wet ones. Because you just you gotta never be ready. know what you're gonna need. But girls, you are not going to look cute eating that hot dog. No, when I was it's... like, I had to have him check for food all over my face. Like now I just, I feel like I have food all over you my face. You dripped like some of your coleslaw. It like <laughs> hit my knee, leg. ran down my leg. It was, but it flavor was a mess. But oh was amazing. God. It was like the a little bit was of crazy. spice. Like definitely like it some barbecue vibes in there. It had the sweetness in there from the barbecue sauce. Yeah, it was it, delicious. Um, now I love a good hot dog, but like these hot dogs are like up. Up, yeah, like they're notches. definitely like <laughs> elevated hot yeah. dogs, I would say. Even the regular hot dog. We got a yeah. regular hot dog for the girls, and it's still that homemade bun, and it's right. grilled on the outside, almost like a grilled cheese. Yeah. It adds a nice little crunch to it, but yeah, I mean, the regular hot dog's amazing, too. And they just, come with a bag of chips. Yeah, but just messy. Delicious yeah. and messy, so, you know. Definitely a spot to check out if you're a hot dog connoisseur like myself, because oh. they have some amazing ones, as you saw on that menu. Yeah, so, so now I want to go so check out a little spot. That it's a little little world or little words. Little words <laughs> project. So they had like a pop up kiosk here um, a while back, closer to the holidays, mm -hmm. and they liked being in Disney Springs so much that they are here permanently now, yeah. and they have an actual kiosk, and it's right next to BB Wolf. Right next. So to I think it. we should go check it out. Um, but yeah, they have really cute jewelry, a lot of like inspirational type messages and things yeah. like that. So let's go check them out because they are a newer addition to Disney Springs. Okay, so here's their kiosk, super cute. They do have a spot where you can sit down and like make your own bracelet. You can come and see the ones that are already made. So they're just gonna have little messages on them. A lot of them tend to be like inspirational or just like giving you those good vibes. They would make a great gift, especially if you know somebody who like has something important coming up or they just need a little extra encouragement but they're very cute. They kind of like resemble friendship bracelets. So a lot of the younger kids and teenagers love these right now. Our daughter actually has one. I'm really liking these darker colors that they have. This one says family, and then they have another lighter one. And yeah, these are like the stone beads and the lava, lava rocks. This one over here, this one speaks to me because that's me, I'm dad. And then you have one over here with the lava rocks, and it looks like magnets, maybe? It says balance. That's cool. Oh, no. 
So one thing about the Little Words Project is all about like being kind to people and speaking kindly to yourself and being a little bit more uplifting. So these definitely show that. This one says, I am enough. And we have a happy with some smiley faces. Here's one that says, good energy. Oh, ride or die. So these are great little things to get for, you know, one of your, like a best friend or something like that. It's great little gifts. You got this, say like somebody has like a big test or something coming up. It's just like some positive words to, to help you through your day. We also do have Mother's Day coming up. So there's a couple that would be good for mom. Breathe, you know, like when the kids are getting on her nerves, she just needs to breathe. And then you have one over here that actually says mom and another one that says daughter. And that would be a cute set. You get a mom and a daughter together. And you gotta stay positive. And this sunshine one is really cute with those colors. I love that. Well, the hot dog was delicious and now it is midday. And you know what that means? Coffee time. It's coffee time. It's coffee so time. So I wanted to pop into the Joffrey's Landing yeah. location. So this is directly across from the boathouse. Um, I feel like it's a little less known compared to like some of the kiosks that you see. You kind of just walk right by it. Yeah. Nobody really, because they have the kiosks everywhere. It's right next to one of our favorite places too, um, Vivoli, Vivoli El Gelato. Which I think is another really underrated place. But if you go into this Joffrey's, you're going to see a lot more like merch items, yep. different types of coffees that you can take home and stuff, more than what you're probably going to find in your resort gift shop. Oh yeah. And they Definitely. also have like something really cool in here that I want to show you. Yeah. So let's head in, grab a Joffrey's so we can like power through the rest of the afternoon. Let's do it. This is such a cute location. I, I don't know about you, but I think this is great. I am definitely Joffrey's all the way. So let's check out some of these coffees they have here right up front. This is some of their Star, Star Wars roast. This is a dark roast. And then over here they have another dark roast double saver blend. I'm loving this little like trio collection with the princesses on there and they do have them individually as well. You don't have to buy them all together, but yeah, they have the Belle Storybook Brew, Cinderella Ballroom Brew, and Tiana Bayou Beignet. Mm, so very That sounds really good. Yeah. And they also have some resort blends as well. This is the Kona blend. So you're gonna find this over at the Polynesian. And then we also have Sanaa and Tusker House coffee blends. They have another one over here, the Trattoria El Forno. Up top, we have the Hollywood Brown Derby. That's a medium roast. And then Jamaican Me Crazy. So these are all medium roast coffees, except for the Tusker and Sanaa. These are dark. Well, there it is, guys. There is Moana on my latte. That's so cool. This only costs an extra 50 cents to get on your latte. So I got the new coffee that they have out right now, the Ice Honey Jasmine Latte. So of course it's espresso, but it has the honey jasmine syrup in there and it's really good. I was worried about it being like overly floral, but it's not. It's just like a nice sweetness and it tastes really good to me. So I'm into it. Thanks, Joffrey's. Oh, Gideon's Bakehouse. They do have some pretty cool looking cookies, but is this the line that you're gonna wait in? No, actually you're gonna be put on a wait list and probably send a text message a few hours later and then you get to come back and wait in this line just to get a cookie. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you a place to go to get a cookie where you don't have to wait in this line and they're amazing. So let's go check it out. So we are at Summer House on the lake and yeah, this is way where we are going to get our cookies. So let's go in and, oh, here, the line starts here. Let's go get in line, guys. Hmm. It's a long line. Got to make our way all around here until we see these cookies. But these cookies, you have to trust me, are phenomenal. I know Gideon's has their, like, own look, and they pile all those chocolate chips on top. But if you're about the flavor and the variety and just pure beauty of a good cookie, then you gotta come to Summer House on the Lake because, I mean, look at all these cookies. I'm still going. 
All right, so we actually wound up getting three cookies. Oops. Um, so this one here is a lemon cookie. Looks like it has a sugar glaze on there and powdered sugar. This is a sea salt chocolate chip. So this is going to be, a, a, looks like a really good cookie. Very tall. Hopefully it's very soft and chewy. And this is the number one pick by Mercedes, one of the cast members here. She said that this is her absolutely favorite. And this is the apple oatmeal. Oh, now it's time to try some of these amazing looking cookies. Yeah, I mean, I cannot eat as many snacks as like the average as person many. can. <laughs> um, and we already had that cookie croissant. So like, I am just going to be taking a bite of these. Hey, that's fine. For like, you know, testing purposes. Yeah. But there is no way that we are going to be like just eating these all <laughs> sitting here. So we're doing it for a, our viewers. Yeah. So and you guys I'll, know what to grab when you when you come to Summer House. Yeah, I mean, I'll get, get a cookies. belly ache, so I got to take it easy. <laughs> So this is the sea salt chocolate chip, sea right? Sea salt chocolate chip, yep. You're gonna go first on that one. It's got a lot of chocolate chips in there. Like, I know Gideon's is always known for putting a lot of chocolate chips. These are the big chunks. You know what though? I'm gonna say what I what I like mm. about Summer House over Gideon's. I like these better than Gideon's. Well, Gideon's has their thing, right? Like that's, the way they make their cookies, that's their thing. Mm -hmm. These to me, I like that there's so many varieties, first of all, because you yeah. don't have, you know, Gideon's only has like a certain amount of items. And they taste like more like a homemade cookie that like your grandma made. You know what I mean? And I, I like that. I yeah. feel like that gives it a little bit of a one up. The no line. Is, the no line is great too. Is the amazing part. But I love that there are so many options and that they just taste a little bit more homemade. And they're delicious and sweet, but Gideon sometimes is just a little bit too sweet for yeah. me. So, you know, I do prefer this. I know a lot of people might come for me for that, but that's my honest opinion. So let's try this. Um, that was delicious. That the was a great oatmeal. chocolate you're chip cookie. The, you're saving the lemon for last? Yeah. All right. Apple oatmeal. Apple oatmeal. Let's go. Mm. That is. Mm, that is good. Mm. It reminds me of like, like the oatmeal. Yeah. Like the apple, the apple cinnamon oatmeal that you yeah, get, and that was always my that. favorite one. Like I would eat all those <laughs> packets first. No, this is very good. Yeah, I love this. It's super soft and chewy. I wasn't vibing like, with it at first because I thought it was going to be like two fall vibes. Yeah, but Mercedes but it's said it's the best one they got. No, but you know what? It's not overly fall. No. Like it's, it, I don't it's a feel great, like, like I should be eating this with like a pumpkin spice latte. Like it's, it is good mm. now and it's hot out. So I like it. Very, very great suggestion. Not one that I would have personally picked. Now the apples that are in it. I see that they're like I'm, I'm eating it. They're not go, like soft and gummy like it would be you would think. So they they use like dehydrated apples that they probably add a little bit of water to to bring them back to life and put really them good. in there. So it adds like a little bit more of a chewiness with the oatmeal cookie. It's so so good. So my dad's favorite cookie is an oatmeal raisin. So I feel like my mom would like frequently make oatmeal raisin cookies right. like for my dad, and that's why I say that I like it so much here because. It tastes like a cookie that like my mom would make. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it gives you like just like that home cooked, home baked vibe, but not yeah. just like you know a whatever confectionery right. they're just like <laughs> pumping through. But so let's try this lemon. Oh, lemon and this cookie. is actually what the kids picked. Yeah, this was Luna Bell's choice. She loved lemon. But it looks she got really, the creamsicle really the one time we were here. Yeah, and that was it was different. It was good. I like a good like lemon bar sometimes. Yeah. So all right, let's see. Mm. Oh, wow. That's super vibrant. Yeah. And it has the glaze and the powdered sugar in there. That's really good. It's actually really good. So soft. This with like a pink lemonade. Ooh, Ooh. that'd be great. That would be the perfect combo. All right, so Summer House, well, I mean, to me is way better than what you would have to, what oh. you would get. And we ate here for your birthday. We did. And the we food was We didn't record amazing. it because we were just having like a nice, um, Birthday dinner. Birthday dinner, but I would love to come back with one day and show it. But that was one of the best meals we've had on property. The service. The service was impeccable. I cannot say enough things about how amazing the servers are here. The attention to detail. So, you know, I just, I love it here. This is a great addition to Disney Springs. Yeah. It's still somewhat new, but I would put this on your bucket list. As far as a sit-down restaurant. And then cookies for And dessert. as far as cookies, too. And they, they, I've gotten coffees here, too. They're yeah. very good. They do have, like, um, margaritas and, and rosés and all yeah. sorts of stuff. So this is a must-do spot for me in Disney Springs. 
Well, this was a beautiful day at Disney Springs. Yeah, had some I had fun so food. much fun. Yeah, I enjoyed eating that hot dog. <laughs> we really, like, I just really enjoy, like, a nice walk around Disney Springs. Yeah. It's such a great vibe, like, happy atmosphere. No matter what you're looking for, food or shopping, like, they've got it all. They sure do. Yeah, so I loved everything we got today. Yeah. That croissant cookie dough thing. I'm getting is, it again because I don't want to have to share it next Yeah, like time. the hot dog was good, but that croissant is definitely the star of the day. Oh, yeah. Um, that is a must-do item. I really hope it sticks around. I hope so. And that it's way all, uh, all of you guys can like get to experience it because yeah. these limited time things are great for us to try and show you, but I mean, most people watching aren't, they don't live here and they're coming on vacation yeah. next month or three months or whatever. They haven't so. said it's limited, and they haven't nope. said how long it'll be around. So we just have to cross our fingers that that's a staple. Yes. But thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this fabulous and beautiful day in Disney Springs. As always, stay, stay fabulous. fabulous.